for. As we face these challenges, the stories of those at Fort Hood reaffirm the core values that we are fighting for and the strength that we must draw upon. Theirs are the tales of American men and women answering an extraordinary call. The call to serve their comrades, their communities, and their country. In an age of self selfishness, they embody responsibility. In an era of division, they call upon us to come together. In a time of cynicism, they remind us of who we are as Americans. We are a nation that endures because of the courage of those who defend it. We saw that valor in those who braved bullets here at Fort Hood just as surely as we see it in those who signed up knowing they would serve in harm's way. We are a nation of laws whose commitment to justice is so enduring that we would treat a gunman and give him due process just as surely as we will see that he pays for his crimes. We're a nation that guarantees the freedom to worship as one chooses. Instead of claiming God for our side, we remember Lincoln's words and always pray to be on the side of God. We're a nation that is dedicated to the proposition that all men and women are created equal. We live that truth within our military and see it in the varied backgrounds of those we lay to rest today. We defend that truth at home and abroad. And we know that Americans will always be found on the side of liberty and equality. That's who we are as a people. Tomorrow's Veterans Day. It's a chance to pause and to pay tribute. For students to learn the struggles that preceded them, for families to honor the service of parents and grandparents, for citizens to reflect upon the sacrifices that have been made in pursuit of a more perfect union. For history is filled with heroes. You may remember the stories of a grandfather who marched across Europe, an uncle who fought in Vietnam, a sister who served in the Gulf. But as we honor the many generations who have served, all of us, Every single American must acknowledge that this generation has more than proved itself the equal of those who've come before. We need not look to the past for greatness because it is before our very eyes. This generation of soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and coast guardsmen have volunteered in the time of certain danger. They are part of the finest fighting force that the world has ever known. They have served tour after tour of duty in distant, different, and difficult places. They have stood watch in blinding deserts and on snowy mountains. They have extended the opportunity of self-government to peoples that have suffered tyranny and war. They are men and women, white, black, and brown, of all faiths and all stations, all Americans, serving together to protect our people while giving others half a world away the chance to lead a better life. In today's wars, there's not always a simple ceremony that signals our troops' success. No surrender papers to be signed or capital to be claimed. But the measure of the impact of these young men and women is no less great. In a world of threats that know no borders, their legacy will be marked in the safety of our cities and towns and the security and opportunity that's extended abroad. It will serve as testimony to the character of those who served and the example that all of you in uniform set for America and for the world. Here at Fort Hood, we pay tribute to 13 men and women we're not able to escape the horror of war, even in the comfort of home. Later today at Fort Lewis, one community will gather to remember so many in one striker brigade who have fallen in Afghanistan. Long after they are laid to rest, when the fighting is finished and our nation has endured, 
When today's servicemen and women are veterans and their children have grown, it will be said that this generation believed under the most trying of tests, believed in perseverance, not just when it was easy, but when it was hard, that they paid the price and bore the burden to secure this nation and stood up for the values that live in the hearts of all free peoples. So we say goodbye to those who now belong to eternity. We press ahead in pursuit of the peace that guided their service. May God bless the memory of those that we have lost. And may God bless the United States of America.